Happy New Year! I'm Rebecca Tuttle, your Coffee Time with Masterminds co-host for 2021 Day One. I'm also the founder and principal of Grant Right Now and Grant Writing for Good. Today's Coffee Time with Mastermind episode centers on three essential themes that I thought were really important as we ring in 2021. The first is future, next is outcomes, and lastly is commitment. But how you hashtag your 2021, that's really up to you. We've got a great show planned today to help you get started. Welcome to Coffee Time with Masterminds, a 30-minute conversation with leaders of mission-based organizations. This is our 39th episode, and our audience spans the nation as well as the globe. If you're just joining us, pop your name and where you're from in the chat. It'll be great to meet you today. Our guests of Coffee Time with Masterminds, they really deliver when they visit. And because of their generosity, we were able to capture inspirational quotes, we learned new frameworks, we shared laughter and stories, and we were even able to overcome some of the challenges that came from the unknowns of COVID and that could potentially lay ahead in 2021. As I was putting the show together today and preparing for episode one of 2021, I wanted the show to start off talking about attitude and work forward from there. So my attitude for 2021 is gratitude. I'm grateful for all the joy and the learning that Coffee Time with Masterminds has brought myself, as well as this community and my co-hosts. We're gearing up today to share some amazing themes with you. We wanna start small and work our way forward. I narrowed today's show into three key themes that I think you're gonna find promise in in your 2021 year ahead. The first one is future. I have a little activity planned today as we go throughout. So if I ask you to grab a piece of paper and a pen, you might want to have one handy. But no fear, if you don't have that paper and pen handy with you, you can always recapture the episode after the live is finished. Or my email's right there on the screen. You can certainly shoot me an email and I will send you the template for today's exercise. So let's focus on our future. The future is a lot like accountability planning. And if you've been watching our show, my area of focus is development planning, fundraising, grant writing, and the like. And so I really hone in with my clients and students and, and my participation on the show talking about accountability and looking forward or forecasting opportunities that lie ahead. So I selected future as a great starting point because we are only one day into this new year. So let's focus on future. Focus on what is it that you, as a mission-based leader, want to see for your organization, for your work, or even for your family or your community? What is it that you want to see for your future? This can be very simple. It doesn't have to be difficult. You don't have to list every single thing that you want to do, but just start small. Determine your attitude. What is your hashtag for the year? My attitude is gratitude, so my hashtag that's going to move me forward through all of 2021 is gratitude. And that's going to be your attitude or your motivating factor for the year. So grab your piece of paper, grab your pen or pencil, or if you're on the computer, type it out and just write what is your mantra or your hashtag for the year. In other words, what is your attitude for the year? Now, I spent the better part of last year studying neurodiversity and human behavior. I wanted to really capture and understand how the brain processed information, how we store it in our minds, and how we let go of the things that are no longer serving us. And what I learned was this, that which we keep in the forefront of our mind, we hold on to, and then we end up focusing on that without hesitation, and you may not even be realizing it. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because if we're holding on to the struggles, to the challenges and beliefs that are holding us back and not serving us, then we're holding ourselves back from learning new things, trying new things, and moving ahead with our future. Therefore, we're unable to create the success that we imagine for ourselves, that success we want to feel, experience, or have in the future. For these reasons and research as well uh, that accompanies these findings, I find having a positive attitude and being future focused, being able to let go of the things that are hindering us from the past are essential to help us move forward in 2021. I'm just gonna take a break here, see if anyone is joining us so I can look and see the comments and take this banner down. 
just bear with me. All right. So grab that piece of paper and write down some things for the exercise today. Again, if you're on a computer, you could certainly type it out if you like to, whatever the case. Send me an email. I'll send you the template. This is a fun exercise. It's a great exercise. There's a lot of momentum. I do this with my students all the time as we kick off the new year, the new season, the new quarter, whatever it is. This is a great exercise. And I thought day one of 2021 is a great time to get this started. So grab that piece of paper and write down the things that are holding you back, whatever it is. It could be um, income. It could be uh, relationships. It could be, you know, maybe you tried some things out in response to some of the challenges you had with the pandemic we had last year. And you want to kind of get rid of those systems or those practices that weren't serving you. And you want to try new things. Whatever the case, grab that piece of paper, type it out on the screen, whatever you have to do. Type it all out. The things that do not serve you or did not serve you or that you did not find favor in. Write it all out. And then after you're done, take that piece of paper and toss it away, okay? If you'd rather not waste paper, that's fine. You can always type it and delete it. Release it and delete it. Whatever you need to do to get rid of the things that are holding you back from 2020 as you focus on entering into the future in 2021, whatever you need to do to let that go, just release and delete. Write it down, crumple it up, and forget it forever. Once you have done that, you have a fresh slate, you have a fresh state of mind, you have a new attitude, a new hashtag to help you move forward, and there's nothing going to hold you back because we are day one of 2021. <laughs> All right, we're designing our future one step at a time today with three essential key themes. The first one is focusing on our future. So I want you to grab that piece of paper or start typing wherever you are on your computer and finish this sentence. It goes like this. My attitude for 2021 is blank. This is your new hashtag for, if I was answering this question, I would say my attitude for 2021 is gratitude. Therefore, my hashtag is gratitude. I'm focusing on the future and it looks blank. So my attitude for 2021 is blank, which becomes your new hashtag. I'm focusing on the future and it looks blank. So for me, my attitude for 2021 is gratitude. Hashtag gratitude. I'm focusing on the future and it looks amazing. Okay, whatever it is for you. What does your future look? Bright, promising, exciting, amazing. Whatever it is for you, fill in the blanks on your future. Now let's move into number two, which is outcomes. See, it's not enough for us to say my attitude is gratitude and I'm focusing on my future and it looks amazing. We have to do something to help us get there. And then once we get there, we have to believe that we're actually there. So I chose outcomes as our second essential theme for 2021 because it's impossible to achieve what we want to in our future without measuring our progress along the way. So in grant writing, when we write grants, we want to start a new project. We want to start a new uh, program. Maybe we want to bring resources to our community. How can we tell the funder that that's effective or making an impact or a difference if we don't measure what that impact is along the way? So we're measuring our outcomes of our future. So for today, we're measuring our progress by focusing on the outcomes that we want to see for ourselves because we're all part of this and for our community in the future. So grab that same piece of paper and type this out. I'm just gonna check on my comments here. All right. I'm focusing on the future and it looks blank. For me, I'm my attitude is gratitude, hashtag gratitude. I'm focusing on the future and it looks amazing. For the second essential theme, which is outcomes, you wanna write this out. In 2021, I want blank for myself and blank for my community. So in 2021, I want peace of mind. I want to help more people. I want to feel less stress. Whatever it is for yourself, write that out. So your attitude for 2021 is this. 
You're focused on the future and it looks amazing. It looks this. In 2021, you want this for yourself and you want this for your community. These are the outcomes. See, if you look to the future and you close your eyes and imagine, that's what you're putting on these blank lines. You'll know you're successful when you blank and when my community is blank, okay? So my attitude for 2021 is gratitude. I'm focusing on the future and it looks amazing. In 2021, I want peace of mind for myself and resources for my community. I'll know I'm successful when I can press on, move ahead, accomplish new things without hesitation. And my community is experiencing the relief that they need so that we can all move forward in 2021 together. All right, let's move on to number three. Here comes the hard part. This is why I left it for the third essential theme. The third essential theme for 2021 is commitment. Before we get to our final essential theme though, let's recap real quick. Essential theme number one was future. We have our attitude, our new hashtag, I guess that's our mindset, right? Our future is bright and we can see it right out there in front of us when we close our eyes. And it looks amazing or whatever adjective you chose to describe. We're excited and we're able to talk about that future with those of us around us. Essential theme number two is all about outcomes and accountability. We did away with the things that no longer served us, right? We wrote it out on a piece of paper, we crumpled it up and tossed it away. Or... We typed it out, we released it, and we deleted it, all right? We're focusing on outcomes for our future and the future of our community. We've been talking of a brighter future, a brighter 2021, and people are starting to catch on, aren't they? And we're building a community of like-minded people who are catching on to that excitement, that enthusiasm that we have for that brighter future ahead. Let's move on to that third and final essential theme. All right. Now, before we get there, though, let's be honest. We saved this one for last on purpose. Commitment, that's the hardest part. We hear this. We learn about this. Habits, right? It takes, what, a minimum of 30 days to change a habit or to change a behavior. And we do that through commitment and repetition. That's how we make the change. 30 days between meetings goes by like that in a flash, right? Have you ever said to your colleagues or a friend of yours, Gosh, I feel like I just saw you yesterday. Well, we're trying to change habits and we're trying to change behaviors. And to be able to do that, we have to have 30 days in order to accomplish what it is that we want to see in our future. And in order to do that, we have to make a commitment for the next 30 days. It's going to feel like a lifetime with some of these things. But we got this, don't we? All right. So this is actually good news for us because we are only day one into 2021, which means that we have 364 more days to make the change that we wanna see for ourselves as well as our community. Oh, hi, Meryl, how are you? It's good to see you. Hi, David, happy new year. Thanks for joining today. <laughs> Don't forget to email me if you want the template for this exercise. All right, so let's grab that piece of paper and finish this thing up, all right? So my attitude, and we're talking your attitude for 2021 is blank. This is your new hashtag. This is what you're following. This is what you're living by. This is all the things that you're doing for your bright future for 2021. You're focusing on your future and it looks blank. It looks amazing, right? There's nothing stopping you. You have all this motivation, all this excitement and enthusiasm, and you're ready to press on. So that in 2021, you want blank for yourself. All right, this is what you want to take care of yourself. Peace of mind, energy, motivation, whatever it is. And you want blank for your community. You want resources, you want relief, you want, I don't know what it is, the sky is the limit, but you want something for yourself so that you can contribute yourself better, um, more enthusiastically, more resourceful to your community. You'll know you're successful when you do blank and when your community is blank. So you'll know you're successful when you can move forward without hesitation. You'll know you're successful when your community has the resources that they need to be successful. Okay, here comes the third and the final essential piece. No matter the challenge, okay, no matter the obstacle that lie ahead or that you may be experiencing at the time, you are committed to making blank happen for yourself 
and for your community. So whatever that is, fill in the blanks. And your timeline for success for yourself is blank. Now, this could be 30 days. It could be longer than 30 days. It's up to you because this is your new hashtag for 2021. And your timeline for success for your community is blank. All right? And then we finish it out by saying, if I trip up along the way, that's okay. My attitude is blank. My attitude is gratitude. Okay. My attitude is momentum. My attitude is nothing's going to stop me from doing this for myself and for my community in 2021. And I have a community of like-minded leaders to help me along the way. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you want this template, don't forget to email me. It's right there on the screen. Have fun with this. Don't beat yourself up about it. The sky is the limit. This is your future. This is your 2021. We are stepping foot into day one. We have 364 more days to make this happen. So without hesitation, please take the time to do this exercise. And if you want to send it to me, we'd love to share it back out with our community on Coffee Time and Masterminds. I'm just going to check my comments here. It is a perfect way to start the year. That's right, Meryl. Thank you. Oh, and we have Maksud Hassan. Uh, Happy New Year. Oh, from Bangladesh. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to 2021. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Rebecca Tuttle, your co-host for Coffee Time with Masterminds. Pita and Cynthia, they'll be back next week. Thank you, everyone who's joined us. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And let's do this. Take care, everyone.